and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, so what am I doing today? I'm doing something something a little out of my wheelhouse, I'll be honest with you. Something I've never done before. Um, I'm going to be modifying this lovely uh, Guild acoustic guitar. Now why am I doing this? Well, uh, I fancied a new acoustic guitar uh, recently and uh, never had a Guild before and I have quite a penchant for that brand uh, owing to um, Jerry Cantrell using one in uh, on the Alice in Chains Unplugged uh, recordings. Uh, this isn't the one he played, this is a much cheaper one obviously. Um, but all the same, I was quite happy to get my hands on a nice Guild acoustic and I'll be honest with you, it plays lovely, it's, it sounds great, sounds fantastic. But it is just a plain Jane acoustic guitar. There's no electronics on it. it. You can't plug it in, and any of that sort of stuff. Um, and so I kind of I thought about that before I got it, and I thought, do I do I want to plug this in? Am I happy just to have a straight up acoustic guitar and not be able to do anything electronic with it uh, or amplify it in any way? Uh, and I thought about that, and I thought, well, that'd be nice to. Um, you know, other acoustics I've had in the past, I've done that with. Uh, and uh, you know, and, and being able to record it and play live and things like that, and I thought this would benefit greatly from that. But I didn't want to do anything too intrusive. Uh, I didn't want to be cutting big holes in the thing uh, to install preamps or anything like that. Uh, so I looked for a system that was kind of non-intrusive, required minimal amounts of actual modification to the guitar to uh, to install it. Now, there's a lot of different solutions out there. There's ones that mount directly into the sound hole, uh, and then they have a wire coming out of them, and the wire goes and plugs into something. But I didn't fancy that because, you know, you got to, I was going to have a, end up with a wire dangling on the outside of the guitar, and that just seemed a bit untidy. What I ended up deciding on was, uh, based on uh, my recent experience, I have another acoustic guitar here. Let me show you. Oh, I have this rather lovely, uh, Epiphone EL00 Parlor Style uh, Electroacoustic and this has a great little pickup system in it but known as a Fishman Sonitone system uh, and what that comes down to basically is look there's no no preamp in the body uh, but you, you've got a little output there uh, where the, uh, the jack socket where, with the jack socket where the, uh, uh, the strap button is and on the inside, and you can't see it, so I might show some closer pictures, but uh, the actual controls for the electronics are mounted just on the underside of the of the, the sound hole there. And you can just get your finger in and, uh, and tweak a couple of controls. You've got a tone control, you've got a volume control, uh, and then this also has a battery compartment uh, to power the, uh, the preamp, uh, and that's mounted on, on the underside of the neck up here. Uh, and it's a very neat system. I mean, there's very little visible evidence that this is an electroacoustic, and I really like that. So... Let me put this back up out of the way. So I decided to go for that. Now, here we go. This is what I ended up getting. Uh, in a bag. Fishman, Solid Tone, Fingerby Bob. Now, I'm going to get this out of here. Now, this ended up being a really, really cheap solution. Now, what that speaks about the quality of the solution itself is a different matter. Uh, but, here we go. There's a nice little close up there of the actual controls uh, there's just a little PCB board uh, with some uh, some sockets on it there to plug various things uh, and some 3M tape uh, there to uh, double sided sticky tape to mount it to the underside of the, the, the body of the guitar and then you've just got the two little dials there uh, to control the volume and the output and you can see it says Fishman yeah. uh, uh, so what else comes with it? Let's have a little look it's very simple from, uh, from what I uh, gather there's a little clip there a double set with some double-sided tape on uh, for cable tidying up cables on the inside uh, what do we got we've got a little velcro uh, velcro type uh, battery bag thing with some double-sided sticky tape on again uh, for sticking to the inside for where the battery wants to go and I've just realized I probably don't have a battery uh, but other than that there is two cables that's really it oops You've got a battery cable, battery clip, uh, with a little socket to plug onto the, the PCB. Uh, and then you've got the uh, the jack output. There we go, see? The jack output there, and again, cable runs to a little plug, which you just plug onto the, 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 the PCB. Uh, so, the actual pickup itself is kind of wrapped around the PCB, so let's let's get that out. All right, so it's you know it's that type of pickup. It's a piezo underbridge style. This is going to go under the bridge of the guitar. 
there you go see uh, and the wire leading to the thing so to get this working with this guitar requires a bit of modification to the guitar itself and I'll be honest with you I'm a little bit nervous about doing this because it does require drilling some holes in the guitar one is going to go on the underside of uh, the bridge here to feed the, uh, the pickup through from the inside uh, but the other one is going to be on the the arse end of the guitar where the strap button is that's going to have to come out and we're going to have to drill a hole big enough to fit the uh, the jack socket arrangement uh, on a side note i'm also going to be installing a additional strap button wherever they are i've done something with them there we go i've got some extra strap buttons because uh this thing has a strap button on the bottom but it doesn't have one anywhere else so the only way you can use a strap with this thing at the moment is to use one where it wraps around the neck at the top uh, and goes all the way down to the, the the strap button on the on the bottom of the guitar i'm not a big fan of that arrangement to be honest because once you stood up playing with the thing um and you are strumming quite hard on it the thing moves around quite a lot there's a lot of play and uh, i don't particularly like the way it sort of pivots uh, when you're playing so I'm going to try and install a strap button somewhere on the, the back of the guitar, up here somewhere, uh, and try and again try and do so by drilling a hole for a screw to go in and doing it so in a manner that doesn't necessarily destroy the guitar. Ah, so yeah, let's get cracking and see what happens as we go. Right, so I've got the bridge out and I just wanted to mention at this point as well, obviously I'm going to be installing something under the bridge uh, on this guitar, uh, this pickup. And obviously this pickup has a certain amount of thickness to it uh, and so the bridge itself is actually going to be higher up than it used to be uh, so that means i'm going to have to file some out of this bridge uh, to make this work yeah so the first thing i really need to do is drill a hole where i want the uh, the pickup to come through into the bridge so uh, wish me luck drilling here we go So the next thing I need to figure out what's going to happen where the jack socket goes in. Uh, at the moment this has got some sort of uh, plastic strap button uh, that's kind of pushed into the body of the guitar. There no, doesn't seem to be any screws or anything. Uh, so I'm going to try and get a look at the inside, see what's going on and see how I have to remove this thing. That strap button came out easier than I uh, anticipated. Seems... Oops. I put a bit of tape on it just to protect it while I ragged at it with pliers and that seems to have done a good job uh, because the thing's literally just a peg that's been shoved in can't show you but there's a reasonable sized hole here now uh, to work with uh, which is quite good it means I'm not drilling too much extra out of this thing so I don't know if you can see this but this thing's actually got a taper on it where the initial bit that sticks out uh, is one thickness uh, and then the rest of it is a thicker thickness. Uh, I'm ready to start drilling this bottom hole out a little bit But first I'm going to just tape off around the the hole itself uh, to try and give it a bit of protection when I'm drilling Here's the tricky part and I've, this is something I have learned from uh, working on acoustic guitars uh, that These sound holes when you've got arms and hands and things as chunky as mine, uh, you can't you just can't get your hand in far enough. Whoops! Uh, can't get your hand in far enough to do this sort of thing to get it all the way down to the bottom. So what I tend to do is I stick a screwdriver in the hole at the bottom end. You know, I like sticking things in bottom ends, right? Uh, and then you get a bit of extra space to to, to sort of slide that onto, uh, you slide that onto the screwdriver and then pull the screwdriver back through and it just helps pull everything through and locate for you. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick my screwdriver in, Let's see if we can find our screwdriver, yes we can, shove that on. All right, that's rock solid. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this into the saddle and I'm going to mount this. Right, so we've got the pickup fed into the uh, the saddle, uh, the bridge position, uh, and I've just squished the bridge down on top of it basically to to give it, uh, you know, a bit of seating in its new home, let it settle down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to mount this little control section now, and I'm just going to put it right underneath the front here 
So I'm just going to peel off the, the film backing and get it stuck in. So I'm going to do the same with the uh, the battery pack thing. All right, so we've got a little battery in our compartment now. Our Velcro is stuck underneath. So I'm just going to pop this in and stick it. So we also have the last little piece of the jigsaw really is is this little uh, clip for stashing the uh, the cables on the inside of the guitar. So yeah, I think at this point everything's in. And at this point I just want to restring it and, and just see what we're dealing with with this bridge and with the action and then just give it a little sound test as well. So uh, yeah, I'm going to bop, bop the strings back on uh, and let's see uh, let's see how we do it. Right, so uh, just got it strung back up and done a quick sound test, plugged it all in, got the new strap button on and uh, yeah, it's all working so far so good. I'm going to do the work on the uh, the bridge now just to get that filed down a bit just to lower the action on the thing uh, and then I'll uh, and then I'll show you in action so uh, bear with me I'll be back in a bit right so anyway here we are we're done we've got our new little strap button on there so we can pro strap proper I mean it's much better it's much more secure yes definitely I hated it with the strap around the headstock here it was, it was all wobbly and weird and just didn't feel right and balanced and secure on my body so there you go much better now and there you go it looks lovely doesn't it it's all finished you can see a few of the wires in there i got to do a bit of a tidy up on them but that'll be all right but anyway look it plugs in i can plug it into a thing great stuff in it look look at that yeah many many advantages to this now uh, i don't know if you can see actually there's the control mounted on the inside there uh, where it can be easily got to but at the same time it's quite nicely hidden uh, and yeah, it's just got a tone control and a volume control on it uh, and that's all all well and good for us so first great advantage of being able to plug your acoustic is in, you can plug it into a tuner so there you go there's our tuner here look and um, so yeah and just to give you an idea as well uh, you know even though we've got that thing sitting under the bridge now and that has obviously altered things somewhat the pickup that is uh, it doesn't really seem to have affected the tone of this thing this thing still sounds lovely um, <laughs> party uh got it in a, an open tuning as well Fun, funnily enough i like playing guitar, acoustic guitar in open tunings maybe i'll do another video about that one day but there you go so we're all very happy with this and uh but the greatest thing of all is obviously now we can amplify it uh and we can affect it as well we can run it through pedals and all that cool shit uh so uh if i kick the, the uh, tuner off which takes it out of mute we should be able to hear it Ooh, nice time of my loving it is isn't it rather appropriate for this time of year april and all that anyway yeah so all good uh, it makes a sound through an amp now and we plug it in and we can play it comfortably with the strap button and all that so yeah mission accomplished really quite pleased with the results in the end uh, i don't know if you noticed as well but the way this socket works it allows you to bang your strap underneath and you screw this bit down on top and uh, locks it in there nice and securely for you so it's almost like having strap lock as well uh, so yeah all the pros few cons uh, and she's still a beautiful acoustic guitar uh, and still very very happy with it now this is things gonna get played a hell of a lot more than it would have done otherwise so yeah thank you for watching I uh, hope this was of some interest to you if not sorry uh, but yeah come again or watch some of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much goodbye <laughs>